I just saw something big, I shot. How you doing friends, family? It's Pops from Family Outdoors. We went on a little bow fishing trip last night and we shot a couple of these. For those of you who had never seen one of these things, this is a what they call an alligator gar, for obvious reasons. Take a look at these choppers. He's got some choppers in them. So this thing is, uh, there's reputations that it isn't very good eating, but we've heard a couple people say there's some recipes out there that might make it work. And being the people we are, we don't like to waste anything that we shoot. So we're gonna try to clean this beast and uh, do a couple recipes later on for you. Okay, so the first thing I gotta do, this thing is slimy as all get out. So I'm gonna pin him down to this piece of wood. I'm gonna jam a screw through here. I guess you could use a nail or whatever you got available, but this thing keeps it from moving. And we decided that we're gonna try to go at him from the top right here because the entrails and everything on the bottom. The first thing I'm gonna do is get a hole started in this thing, hopefully. They got like armor on them. They literally can cut you there. This is a prehistoric animal, people. You can hear the bones crunching. These scales are hard as rock. Then I'm gonna take the kitchen scissors, insert it in that hole, and hopefully, you hear the bones crunching. Start working my way around. Come to this side here. Work my way around the body here. This thing is not, you definitely gotta have a good pair of shears or something to cut with, all right? Okay. Now I got it started, I'm gonna go straight down the backbone, or attempt to. You can hear, you hear how hard it is. Jeez. Let me try a different pair of shears. Good night. kind of took us a while but you can see I went all the way down to about right here where this back fin is right here there's not much meat on the tail and now we're going to try to work our way around this meat again this is uh we're yeah. going to start up here at the top and just like if we were flaying the fish from the skin I'm going to work my way around this meat See, it's starting to separate. It's still, believe it or not, it's it's slimy inside as well, or at least it feels like, kind of like catfish type slime. And you can see that it's coming down. We're starting to get around it. There we go. Got a little something going. Looks like it's easier to roll them. The meat even kind of looks like catfish a little bit. Yeah, it does. It almost separates, kind of like, uh, those of you that clean deer, you know one of the best parts is the back strap. And this is kind of like that. It feels like it's just kind of separating like the back strap does on a deer. As you can see, I'm starting to expose this, all the meat. like I got it exposed pretty well. So now I'm just gonna treat it like a back strap. Go right across, right next to the spine right here. Having this sharp bubble blade helps me a little bit. 
and I'm just gonna do just like I do on a back strap on the deer. I'm just gonna kind of separate it with my finger. See how it's pulling away. This was a, I noticed last night when we shot these things, they're uh, bloody animals, they bleed a lot. Yeah, compared to regular fish, like the redfish really doesn't bleed much when you're cleaning it. This clot right here is where the arrow went through. You can see that's the arrow hole right there. Piece of strap. We take back, there we go. Looks like it's a little slimy. That's a pretty, you can see the slimy on my hands. Very nice piece of meat though. I mean, the way people talk so bad about it. Yeah, well, I've also heard that uh, some people said it's kind of a sweet meat and it tastes like crab meat. And that's why we're willing to try this. So now, right out. Tell you what, this thing, these things stayed alive all the way through the night after an arrow thrown and being thrown in the bottom of the boat too. So I mean, it tells you how tough these things can be. All the other fish were dead when we got back to the dock. These things were still kicking. It's okay. crazy. They were kicking when we got home and it was an hour drive. I kind of broke that piece a little bit, pulling on it too hard. But as you can see, he's got some straps on him. Nice piece of meat. And this is what's left. His rib, all this guts and stuff around his ribs. His ribs go sideways like this. See how they flatten out like that? That's crazy, huh? He probably, now these are air breathers too. That's why they can stay alive so long. They have air bladders. Kind of like your shark, I mean like your dolphins or your whales. And they'll come up and they can surface. You'll see them come up and take gulps of air and go back under. And they can, that's why they can stay out of the water so long is they, uh, they store the air in, their bla in this air bladder and they can stay alive for hours after out of the water. But Well, as you can tell by the sweat running down my head here, it's, it's pretty warm, so I'm glad this is about done. But this is our first time of doing it, and if we find a better way, we'll let you know. Now we're gonna clean up, and when we get ready to cook these things, we'll add to this video and uh, maybe show you some recipes and let you know what we think of the food. And then it's up to you to decide whether or not you wanna attack this thing or leave it alone. It's up to you. But here at Nelson Family Outdoors, we're just blessed to be able to do what we do. and. God has, has taken care of this fam family abundantly when it comes to food. Our freezers are full of meat and fish, and, and we're just so grateful. And this is just another animal that we can add to our, to our freezer that when times get tough, we can rely on for a food source. So, Okay, again, thanks for watching. This is my first time of me being the star of this thing. Sean normally handles most of the speaking parts, but uh, we appreciate you watching. We, Appreciate your subscribing to the to the channel and hope you continue to do so and hopefully we can continue to bring you some good videos like this. Y'all have a great day and God bless you.